Today we're going to look at converting a Word document to PDF format. While there are several different programs that you can use, some free and some paid, I'll be using Adobe Acrobat Writer, which is available at www.adobe.com. Let's get started. If you don't have a Word document open, please pause the video and open a Microsoft Word document now. Converting your document to PDF can be accomplished through two methods. The first, and by far the easiest, is to go to the File menu, Save As, and then select Adobe PDF. You'll be prompted to give your file a name. I'm just going to leave mine as the same name as my Word document and choose a file location, save location. The conversion begins when you hit the save button. Microsoft Word will interface with Adobe Acrobat. You can follow the progress on the status bar or work on other tasks while your file converts. When the process is finished, your PDF document will launch automatically. If the file does not launch, that means it did not convert properly. That sometimes happens. As you can see, my file did not launch, so that indicates to me that the conversion did not happen. To, to get the file started again, simply follow the same steps again. So go to File, Save As, Adobe PDF, hit Save. It'll interface with Adobe, and now you can see that it's now printing. Creating page 1 to 9, and as soon as this is done converting, it should launch the Adobe Writer, and it did. So simply follow the same steps again, and your file will convert properly the second time. I'm not sure, really sure why it doesn't take the first time, but having never had a problem with it when I saved it the second time, if you simply follow the steps again, it will save properly. The other method by which you can convert your Word document to PDF is by printing your document to the PDF Writer. Go to File, Print, and then Print again, and select Adobe PDF from the drop-down menu. I tend not to print any hard copies, so my default printer is the PDF Writer, but you may have to select the Adobe printer from the drop-down menu. So I'll just switch to another printer and then switch back to Adobe PDF just to show you that process. Once you've selected the Adobe printer, click OK. You will be prompted to name your file and say, select a save location. Again, Microsoft Word will interface with Adobe Acrobat. When the process is finished, your PDF document will launch automatically. Now this process looks like it's a lot faster than the previous process, but because I had just PDF'd a document, the Adobe Writer is already preloaded into my RAM, so the second time I saved the file it was much faster. Please feel free to contact me though if you have any questions or if you need help converting your Adobe document to PDF format. 